Good morning. My name is Jay Jaju and my registration number is 20BC0920. Good morning, guys. Today, myself, Jay Jaju, is going to present on the topic called Compton Effect. The Compton Effect was discovered by Arthur Holly Compton in 1922 and which was established in 1923 and he got a Nobel Prize for that in 1927. He was born on September 10, 1892 and he died on March 15, 1962. He discovered the particle nature of electromagnetic radiation which was a very big thing. Now what is Compton effect? The most clear and conclusive evidence in favor of particle nature of radiation came in 1922 from Compton's discovery. In 1922, the American physicist Arthur Compton, investigating the scattering of X-rays by different substances, observed that the scattered rays in addition to the radiation of the initial wavelength lambda contains also rays of greater wavelength lambda dash. This was known as Compton effect. Now, what is Compton scattering? X-rays consist of two components, one having same wavelength and the other X-rays having slightly longer wavelength. This phenomenon is called incoherent scattering or Compton scattering. Now, what was the theory behind Compton effect? The Compton effect is the result of high energy photon colliding with a target which releases loosely bound electrons from outer shell of the atoms or molecules. The scattered radiation experiences a wavelength shift that cannot be explained in terms of classical wavelength, the classical wave theory, thus leading support to Einstein's photon theory. This effect was first demonstrated by Compton in 1923. The effect is important because it demonstrates that light cannot be explained purely as a wave phenomenon. Now, what is Compton shift? The difference of wavelengths uh, lambda dash minus lambda equals to delta lambda is called Compton shift, which was found to depend only on angle made by the direction of scattered radiation with that of the initial beam. The value of delta lambda does not depend on the wavelength lambda and the nature of scattering material. Uh, to the Compton scattering, uh, Compton used conservation of energy, conservation of momentum and along with the reali realistic values to develop the theory of Compton scattering. He also used uh, special theory of relativity uh, for rest mass. Uh, now, in the slides, we will see the derivation for Compton effect formula. From this slide, we can see that the incident photon having energy h nu and momentum h nu by c is collided with an electron at rest. After the collision, there is an electron and a photon uh, getting out of that electron at different angles from the incident photon. The electron is having momentum mass times its velocity and the scattered, scattered photon is having momentum h nu dash by c and having energy h nu dash. Now, Compton formula for the shift in wavelength is this lambda s minus lambda naught is equals to h by m naught c 1 minus cos theta where theta is angle at which radiation is scattered m naught is the rest of mass of electron sorry rest mass of an electron and h by m naught c is Compton wavelength of the electron lambda s m lambda naught m lambda naught are radiation spectrum peaks now how we derived the formula h nu naught is the energy of incident photon p initial is equals to pi is equals to h nu by h nu naught by c which is the moment of, of 
photon which is initially targeted at the electron. Now, by conservation of momentum in x direction, we can say that p naught i is equals to in final momentum cos theta plus p initial cos phi. And from the conservation of momentum in y direction, we can say that 0 equals to minus p final sin phi theta plus p initial sin phi. After we square this both the equation 1 and 2 and add them, we get the we get this equation. After further solving this equations, we got lambda s minus lambda naught equals h by m naught c 1 minus cos theta. Therefore, above is the Compton effect equation and h by m naught c is equals to lambda c minus Compton wavelength of an electron.